All right. I think we're gonna try to go with that. What's going on, guys? Shy Guy Twenty Two Thirty One here. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Gonna. Uh, I was messing with my volume sounds. I know there, there were some volume issues last episode. I wanted to get those sorted out. Back at it again for day number two. And I've woken up late, so I need to get on. I need to get on the ball. Rain all day tomorrow, so I won't have to worry about watering my crops let's see somewhat annoyed today luck will not be on my side all right let's head out check the check the farm look at this oh we have parsnip little buds parsnip buds and then our little mixed seeds buds so I'm gonna go ahead first thing in the morning and water those and it looks like I've got some mail, so I'm going to check the mailbox today as well. Mail pops up from time to time, so we're going to go ahead and, and check that and see, see what's up. Almost done. Really quickly, I'm going to run down here and refill it. Alrighty, checking this out right here. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. The concerning thing is that he's got something for me and his name is Willie. <laughs> All right, enough of the joking. We'll head down to the beach since our watering is done and we'll take care of everything around the farm. A little more uh, house cleaning, spring cleaning, farm cleaning, whatever you want to call it. We'll, call it. we'll take care of that later. We will have an opportunity to meet some new people today as well. And we can get some more of that out of the way because if you look up here, that little journal is we go... Introduce yourself to 27 people, cultivate and harvest parsnip, and visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. And it's 8, 10 a.m., so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Half the town's not even up by the time I'm done watering. There's Shane. I don't want to talk to him. He was mean. He was mean. He gave me the cold shoulder last night at the bar. I didn't appreciate it. So we're just gonna we're just going to leave him alone. Wow, it sounds of the ocean in this game. What's up, Willie? Ahoy there, son. I'm not your son. <laughs> You're not my dad. Not my dad. <laughs> Good to finally meet you too, Willie. How's it going, man? Just here trying to farm. Farm everything. Anything and everything. Been out on the sea for a month? Okay. Finally saved up enough to buy you a new rod. Well, congratulations. Here, I want you to have my old fish. Ooh, guys, we get a fishing rod. We get a fishing rod. I'm going to fish some today. Today's task is fishing. wonder if that little pond at the farm has fish in it. Bamboo pole. Bamboo. Bamboo is flimsy. Bamboo breaks easily. Come on, Willie. If that's your old rod, I'd hate to see your new one. Shop's back open now, so if you need supplies, come on by. Also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Okay. Okay, Willie. All right, we'll go ahead and fish then. Or not. All right, it just had to pan do that weird pan. All right. Let's fish. Let's see how this works. Sounds of the ocean might be too loud still. I'm going to have to listen to the playback, see if I need to fix that. There we go. We got a hit. Ah! Come on. Come on. I'm hungry. I want to eat. I want to cook it. Woo! All right, a sunfish, six inches. That's all the fishing I'm gonna do right now. Because um, I do have some stuff back at the farm we need to do. Let's do some foraging um, while we're down here at the beach. What are those? Are those worms? Can I, can I? No, what about? 
Yo, a book! Hold on, my inventory's full. I gotta dump something. I gotta dump something. What am I gonna dump? I'll dump... Uh, I don't wanna do that, but I'll, du I'll dump the clam. Found a lost book. The library's collection has been expanded. All right. So whenever we find those worms, we need to dig them up. Okay. I can totally do that. I'm totally down to do that. And what's this? An oyster. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of seafood type stuff around here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it in the house somewhere. Let's try. So from what I've read about this game, and from as much as I've played, there are different kinds of fish if you fish in different areas. So there's ocean fish. Ew, a newspaper. Somebody's been littering. It's a good thing we can clean out the water then with the with the fishing rod then. Oh, but the spirits were slightly perturbed today. Okay. So I'm assuming the spirits have an effect on how many crops you get maybe and how many fish you actually get. That's taking too long. I don't have that amount of time right now. We actually have to get back. I can't spend all my energy on fishing. Ooh, who is this? Hello. Oh, aren't you that new farmer boy? All right, then. All right. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Haley's mean. I like Haley. I don't like Haley. Haley can go get some shoes. <laughs> Let's see. So this week on the calendar, Mayor Lewis's birthday is on Sunday. So we're going to have to get him a gift. We're going to have to remember that. Vincent's birthday and then the egg festival. And right after that, it's Haley's birthday. Ugh. I don't know if I want to get her a gift. Let's see. Shane. Don't know if we're going to get Shane a gift. Pam. I could probably get Pam something. Who are you? Hello. Oh, hi, Marnie. Let's see. She sells the livestock and animals. She's got her farm. She's got a ranch right down below your farm. Who's the purple-haired girl up there? Let's go meet some people. What day is it? Why are all the women gathering in there? Well, hey, if you want to still enjoy... Uh, exploring the fields I mean you can always come down and explore them I'm not I'm not too closed off you know just as long as you don't mess up my crops and what's this right here hmm Pre please bring ASAP we'll see if we can get her a carp at some point um but if we don't have time we don't have time and right now I don't have time to do any fishing I've got to get this some of this stuff cleared out Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this tree down right here. Kind of open up this back area here. And I think that will open things up. I might be able to put some more crop plots in there eventually. And I've run into a dilemma already. 50 wood. I'm almost there. I can get 50 wood and go grab that sap here in just a second. Fifty-five. Awesome. So here's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to dump... I'm going to dump the rest of the wood. Because look at how many trees we have around here. There's so many trees. So many trees. I'm going to set that chest right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put our fish in there. Our mussels, our oyster. Let's see. I'm going to collect all of this sap. Because I think what I can do with sap is I can make torches to go around the farm. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get some of these stones out of the way, too. Because I want the place to be lit when I get home. Because I do plan on going to the bar tonight to see if anybody else goes there um, at night, other than the people that we saw last night. And I think there were a couple of extra rooms back there. I think there was a... You could actually go behind the saloon and you could go and you could go 
back where I was, where all those kegs were. I think there's an arcade back there. Whoa. Oh, we got a geode. A blacksmith can break them open for you. Okay. So, tomorrow, I tell you what, tomorrow we'll go, we'll go do, do the geode. But for right now, we're going to put the geode in here. We're going to put the coal in here. And we're going to make some torches. And we're going to drop most of this other material stuff in here. And that's how we're going to do it. Now, for torches, I'm thinking I'm going to put one right up here. Can I put one where I wanted to? Not let me... All right, so that'll have to do, and I'll put one right there to keep the house lit. And... One, two, three. We'll do that for right now. Keep those crops having some sort of sunlight. So we're almost, almost, almost to four o'clock. And I think at four o'clock, I'm going to head down. And we're going to head down towards, towards the town. But I do want to clear some more of those ferns out beforehand. All right, so we do have some of our spring cleaning done. I'm going to knock this out right here. And so we got a little bit more a little more a little bit more progress done on the spring cleaning. And I'm pretty sure the blacksmith he closes at like what is it? He closes at 4:30 or 5, maybe 5:30. So, to me there's no point in even going all the way that far and checking. There's Maru. Let's say hi to Maru. Say hi to Maro over here. Never mind, we're gonna get caught in a traffic jam. If you met my mother, she's a town carpenter. I believe we did when we moved in. There's Pam. Hi, Pam. Oh, she's mad at me for something. <laughs> Gotta be cautious with strangers. I know. Alex. Alex looks like he's a sports player. He was holding a the football there for a second. I'm a sports player. Sports is my favorite thing. Wow, the bar is vacant tonight. Okay. I'll come back a little bit later. Pam's there as soon as it opens. I wonder if she's like the town alcoholic. All she does, look at this. She's got she's got her little stool right here with a little jug right there and I'm gonna sneak in here. Let's see what she's got in here. Uh let's see. Um, rummage around in here. Check here. Empty beer bottles. Ha <laughs> ha! Pam is an alcoholic. Well, I know what I can get her for her birthday. <laughs> we'll just buy her a beer. She seems, to, she seems to want to be around the bar a lot. Who is this? What's up, Sam? Good to meet you too, bro. And this seems to be a little stand of some sort. Let's see. Closed until summer. We'll find out what that is in summer. That's a month away. It's open to eight, 8 to 6. That, I believe, is the library. And I think there's something you can do in the library. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to go check that. So we'll just have to explore the town sometime. I think I'm going to spend some time at the bar um, for right now kind of hang out with all the people. That seems to be the social social gathering place. So Shane's already there too. So Shane and Pam seem to enjoy beer. Let's see. What do you want? Go away. I just wanted to say hi. That's all I wanted to do. You don't got to get all your hair in a ruffle. Skull-shaped keyhole. What's this? Ooh. Journey of the Prairie King. Okay. That's how you shoot. All right. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> I like that little noise. Do 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 do. Tells you when you died. Oh 
Oh man. I'm 100% gonna need to work on work on my gaming on this game. We're gonna have to come back to the bar someday. Yeah! Run! Run away from me! I'm a cactus looking dude. Woo! Oh no! It wore off and it didn't tell me! Alright, we got this. We're gonna get by level one and then we'll call it quits. Because I do want to talk. I want to see if some new characters came to the bar today. I do want to meet new people. Oh, no. We almost made it. We almost made it. We're going to go ahead and quit. Wow, time actually passes when you play that. Emily's here again. Gus, the owner's here. Seems like a slow night tonight, Gus. What's going on? Relax and enjoy myself. Alrighty. Will do. Part time at Gus's saloon pays the bills. Alrighty. I pay the bills with farming. That's how I do it. Let's say hi to Pam. Let's say hi to Pam. I already did say hi to Pam. She got mad at me. <laughs> Give me another round. <laughs> she is 100% the town drunk. 100%. Who is that? Hi. There's Clint. Let's say hi to Clint real quick. Here's your tools. You have to give me the correct ore to pay me a fee, of course. Well, of course, of course. I wouldn't I wouldn't try to stiff you like that. Tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. So she kind of homeschools, I guess. She's like the town teacher. And Vincent and Jazz, I believe, are two children. I couldn't tell you what house they live in. I think they live in one of the two down here. But off the top of my head, I couldn't 100% be positive with that. Anyway, I'm not feeling like barging into people's houses anyway. Let's just go up here, see what we can find up here. I haven't been up in this area all while I've started playing this game, so. Ooh, is this a little park area? Yeah, it is. It's a little playground. Can I get on the swings? Oh, I can't get on the swings. And there's one of those little rockin' duck type things. That's awesome. I remember playing on one of those when I was little. What's this right here? What can I find in here? Bunch of overgrown nothingness. That's what it seems like. I'm just gonna harvest this out. This looks like a pretty nice place. Wonder if I can make like a little community garden over here. Can I? Oh, I can't. I totally would. 100%. I make a little community garden, build a little bit of what? It's locked. Okay. So there's no way to get into there. Alright. And I think I'm going to sell these seeds that I picked up. I know they're those variety. Who are you? It's a man in the dark. Sebastian. You just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you live, you choose Pelican Town. Oh, I guess he doesn't like it here. I'll be okay. I'll help you. I'll be friends with you. You'll like it here just as much as I will. All right. It's about time to head back to the farm. Maybe cut down one more tree. There's a daffodil we'll pick up. We'll throw that in to be sold um, when we get back to the farm. Because I do want to make a little bit of money today. It's not going to be a whole lot, but I do want to make a little bit. So any kind of foraging I can do on the way. All right. So I met what? How many people did I meet? I knew nine before. Fifteen. So I met another six people today. So 15 out of 27. That's not bad at all. All right. Headed back to the farm. We got lights. Let's see them. Boom. The area around my house is is well lit and I can actually see the crops as well so just be careful when I'm harvesting stuff not to knock into those not to knock into those um, little lanterns let's see if I can cut down one more tree all right we did it okay so with that we're going to do our little supply dump. We're going to sell the seeds and the daffodils. 
to get some sort of money. Because I do want to be able to afford a little more variety of seeds when I finally get my parsnips. But, all right, it's almost midnight. We got to get into bed. All right. We're going to have six whole hours of sleep. Let's see what we got. Zero gold for the mixed seeds? Are you serious? Okay. I guess it's more value to plant them than to actually sell them. And 30 gold for each of those daffodils. Well, I got I got 60 gold. I guess I can't argue with that for right now because I'm not making any mo any sort of money, really. All right, guys. Well, today marks the end of day two of spring and year one. We'll see you guys in the next episode.